Hey there, we got Jen and Aidy from the city here and we're just going to show you how you can use your blue bikes um, to get around and get to your essential work. So, there are three different ways. You can use an app, you can use your credit card, and you can use a key. And in the app, you don't need a membership. You can actually put your credit card right in your app and then you won't ever have to take out your card to use the kiosk here. But we're going to show you how to use all of them so that you know. Okay, so the first thing you do if you want to use a card is you come up and you push this little green button and then a screen pops up on here. Uh, I'm just going to wait for the cards. Okay, then to get started, you just literally push get started. And then there you go. And so on here, you can uh, find stations, you can plan a route, you can check bike dock and dock availability. And that's important if you're going somewhere where you think a bunch of bikes might not be there. And so you, or if you're going somewhere and there aren't enough docks to put your bike in because it's really, really busy and you just want to know. You can also get that information on the app, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so get started. You can find stations, you can plan a route and you can check your bike and then click continue and it, it will load up so that you can start your, your rental. So you just take a credit card and you put that card in and then remove it. Now, I already have a member account found, so you can either, because I've used this card before, I can just say, great, I want to rent a, a car as, I uh, rent a bike as Jennifer Lawrence, or I can rent an additional bike. So if you, if you are in here and you've never rented one before, that first option won't be there. If you have rented, it's really awesome. It saves your information, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, so you can select either a single trip, which is $2.50, or an Explorer Pass. Uh, which is ten dollars and that's unlimited trips for i believe it's 24 hours so we're going to do a single trip right now and then the single trip is one 30 minute trip to get you where you need to go and it's 250 for every additional 30 minutes so that's something really important to note too if you have a membership it's a 45 minute trip so it's you get not only um, less money per trip because it's only 99 dollars for the whole year um, but you also get a longer trip. So if you're going from here to JP, for example, um, we're on Highland Ave in Somerville. If you're going up to JP, that takes a while. And so um, you can you might be able to get there all on one trip. Um, so you're gonna click what you want. And then what's going to happen is uh, you're gonna get a little code. So I'm just going to insert my, my card again. And I'm just going to say I'm going to rent a bike as me, just so that I don't have to get paid, charged again. Um, it's going to ask you if you're 16 or over. Blue bikes have to be used, but if you're 16 years or older, you can't be under 16 to use it. Please don't use it on your parents' account because you're not covered by insurance if you do that. So do not use the bike if you are not 16 years old. Um, so I'm going to say yes, I am because I am much older than that. There's a liability waiver here. You're free to read through it. It's got lots and lots of information. Um, including that bit about if you're too young, you're not going to be covered. So don't use the bike if you're under 16. I'm going to agree. And then you can see on here, a code comes up and you can remember that code 31231 for my trip, or you can print the code. And so by printing the code, I have a really bad memory. And so I like to make sure that I have the code in front of me. Um, and then you can see right down here, the code printed out at the bottom. And you can get receipts there too if you need a receipt for your rental. Um, and then hit okay and you're ready to go. So now we're gonna show you how we can unlock a bike using this code. So now that we've got our seat adjusted and we're ready to go, um, all you have to do is take the code which you just took out of the, the machine over here and then you just plug it in. There are three numbers right here and all you have to do is put the numbers in. And you're going to get a green light and then you pull the bike out. Um, and that's all you have to do to rent the bike with the card um, from the kiosk. And so the other thing to note is say this bike, you're at the end of your trip now. So I just got done riding. I'm at the end of my trip. There's something weird going on with it. The basket's kind of like wriggling. The brakes are squeaking. This is kind of not working really well. If that happens, what you do is you bring your bike back. And you dock it. To dock it, you've got to dock it pretty hard. It feels like you're going to break it. You're not going to break it. But you want to take your bike and push it in really, oh, of course it's not going to work, really hard. So harder than you might feel. You're going to get a green bike, a green light there. And the green light means you're good to go. It has been docked. Your trip is over. 
but say it's not, it's something's wrong with it. It doesn't feel good. Go ahead here and press broken bike button. Press the button there and somebody from Blue Bikes will come and they'll fix it for you. So don't, if you have any sort of a broken bike, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to call customer service. Dock it and press the bike. So, also one quick note, when you're docking it, there are two other options here. We'll do it on this one. There's a, a red, there's a yellow, and there's a green. The yellow means it's thinking. So if it's thinking, does not mean it's docked properly and that your trip is over. Until it turns green, don't let it go. If it's red, that means you just didn't push it in hard enough. Um, sometimes, which you just saw I had to do, and I'll do it again, I'll take this one out again in a second so you can see it. Sometimes the, there's a little carriage here and it's like a triangle and it comes down on top of this here. If that triangle is down too low and it can't fit, you just need to lift it up and put it in. So I'll show you how to do that again. So sometimes it might get a red light if it's not in all the way. And all that means is lift the bike up and push it in a little bit harder and you'll be good to go. Okay, so the other thing we have is, I'm gonna put my credit card in my pocket so somebody doesn't take it. Um, you can also take out, oh, actually this is cool. AD, I don't know if you can see here, but you can see I got a little pop-up on my app that says my ride is complete. Um, and I want that because I want to know that I'm not going to get charged for overage fees, which I'll talk about in a minute. So the other thing you can do is you can go on and there is a Blue Bikes app and it looks just like that. It's right on my phone. I personally love the Blue Bikes app because I forget my keys all the time and you don't need your keys for the Blue Bike app. And we often have our phones on us. So um, what's really cool about this is that you can see I'm just scrolling in on the map you can see all of the bikes on the docks available. So if they've got like this one here, it says Spring Hill. And if you click on it, it's right next door. There's only one bike there. So if I lived in the middle of this one and that one, I'm gonna come to this one because by the time I get to that Spring Hill one, it might be, that bike might be gone. Somebody might have it. So it's just nice to be able to see that. But now, so I'm not there though. I'm here at the Somerville Hospital. You can see that there's four bikes here and there's 11 docks available. That means if I'm coming here, I know there's plenty of place that I can dock a bike. And if I'm, if I'm leaving from here, there's four bikes here. So it's doubtful that four people are going to come by the time I get here. Okay, so to unlock a bike, all you have to do is go to the app and, at the, and click on or just touch the station you want, Somerville Hospital. And then I'm going to unlock a bike and that's all you have to do. It's really, really simple. And now I have a new code. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna take the code. Oops, I put the wrong code in. So you saw that orange came, the yellow came up. I put the wrong code in, but you have 30 seconds. So you have plenty of time. And then here's the bike. Um, so, that's a super, super easy way to do it. The other thing that's really cool about the app is if I start getting close to my limit, to the end of when I'm gonna start getting charged, it will, t it will ping me and it'll say, you're a little bit close to your time. Do you want, did you mean to be out this long? You might wanna go put your bike back, which is really, really awesome. Um, and it also shows me, I don't know if you can see this, it shows me how long my trip is. If you can see that countdown or count up at the top. Then a Jerry's truck. Um, it shows you how long it's been going. So it's really awesome. So then what I was showing you before is that this sometimes gets lost. So this is the, the carriage and it's just a little triangle and this little thing has to fit in there. So if you ever can't dock your bike, it's probably just that thing. It's really as simple as that. And so what you want to do, like if I go like this, you can see it's just not going in all the way. It's like, it's up too high. So in order to make it down a little bit lower, lift the back wheel up and push it in. And then you'll get the green. It's really as simple as that. A lot of people are like, I can't talk, I can't talk. And it's really like a little bit intimidating. Don't worry about it. Just lift the back tire up and nine times out of 10, that'll work. And the last way that you can take out a bike is this beautiful Blue Bikes key. And so you can get the Blue Bikes key when you uh, join as a member is when you get a Blue Bikes key. <clears throat> and you can say, 
that you want one in your registration process. And we'll get to being a member in a minute. Um, you can use it by, uh, you get it, you can, you can opt out of getting it. If you don't want another thing in your keychain, you don't need to get one. But we have this, and all you do is right here, insert bike key, you insert bike key. And there it goes. And then you have your bike. And it's all done. So it's really, really simple. Those are the three ways you can do it. We created these like parking tips for blue bike riders. And it's really, really important. A lot of people don't realize that you actually do have to dock your bike. So you can't, you've got to get the green light. You can't just leave it near the station because that's not going to end your trip. You saw that I put my credit card in at the beginning of my trip. That is going to charge me if I go over. So if the bike gets stolen or uh, lost, that's $1,200. And I don't know about you, but I don't have $1,200 in my bank account to use on a blue bike right now, um, uh, or probably ever. And also, if somebody is nice and comes along and sees it, they might dock it for you. But if that went over either the 30 minutes or the 45 minutes, depending on what kind of a trip you have, then you're gonna get charged that 250. So it's just a, it's a, a wasteful thing. I'm just gonna... Other big important piece, which you'll get when you do some of 80s workshops this spring and summer. Um, I guess they'll all be in summer because we're almost in the at, at summertime. Um, the rules for a person biking, you are technically a bicycle as a vehicle. So when you're on street, you are following the rules of the road that all um, motor vehicles have to follow unless it's marked otherwise. So um, you need to stop at stop signs, stop at stoplights. You need to yield to pedestrians and crosswalks. Um, the, the unless otherwise noted piece is that you can go on the sidewalk as long as you're going at the pace of a pedestrian. And as long as it's not no, um, noted that you can't go on a sidewalk. Uh, and there are a bunch of, sorry. There are a bunch of bike stoplight, uh, bike traffic signals that allow you to go a little bit, a couple seconds before the motor vehicles can go. Uh, and that's for your own safety so that you can get out in front and people can see you. Um, and there are some contrafollow lanes, which are bike lanes that go against the traffic. They're very clearly marked. Don't go against the traffic on a one way unless it's very, very clearly marked uh, because the person driving won't know to expect you. So it's all about safety. 